All right, just wanted to give wanted to give an update on the uh, 300D. So, got a couple things going on. So, I think the one of the last videos I showed uh, basically the cruise control actuator down here is making some noises, and I was having trouble starting the car, and so that not even related issues. But one of the things that was the problem here is where this stop lever is, and so. Whenever the car is turning off, it sends vacuum and moves this into the down position. This is the injection pump here. So this is what does the fuel. So the fuel to when it gets injected. So all the hard, it pressurizes it. All the hard lines go up through the fuel rails into the engine. So when it's in the stop position, it will not be operating anymore. There is a diaphragm in here. So I did replace this piece. It doesn't have a problem. What's actually happening is it gets stuck in the down position after you turn the car off. When you turn the car on, it's supposed to release that and then pop pop up. So like when you turn the glow plugs on, for example. So I got the, <laughs> everything's all apart down here. Got the kick panel off and um, Here's the ignition. So that ignition switch repair that I did, that worked out great. So I haven't had any problems. Um, I've been ha I, ha I was having problems where when you put the, uh, try to put the windows down, sometimes it would act like the ignition's off and then the windows wouldn't, you can't move, turn them down, and the radio turns off. New ignition switch, it's, it's great. Now there's another piece on here, and this is only on the diesels where there's like these two vacuum lines so I got a replacement piece for that and right here I'm gonna swap this out there could be a diaphragm in here or I'm not exactly sure what the inside looks like it's all metal it might not help but this might not be I'm just kinda of throwing parts here so I'm gonna swap this and then play around and see if it makes any difference or not alright so here we go so I got the the unit here and I've just put some vacuum on it this is onto the blue line, and then the other one goes to the brake booster. This is the new uh, part. So I put that on there, I'm just kind of blocking the vacuum so it holds. And now I'm going to try to show, <laughs> it's not going to work one handed, I need a third hand. But here I'm going to show, put the, uh, turn the key. I turn the key and it dropped the vacuum there we go position two dropped it completely to zero so that's awesome uh, the old part didn't seem to have too much problem I noticed that this was kind of stuck like maybe this part was getting stuck in the up position as the key turns it kind of rotates um, a blue piece your key is rotating a piece and as you turn it to a higher position it will push this up and so that's supposed to release the vacuum but uh, yeah there also could be something in here like a diaphragm that's leaking or I'm not really sure because the problem is when the thing is the stop levers down it has vacuum so it's almost holding the, the pressure too good um, and just not releasing it. So it's almost like turning it wasn't pushing this up. So I'd have to take some pliers and pull out this, this piece and see what is it doing when you push this in. Maybe the other side of it's busted or something. Maybe it's supposed to be yeah, releasing the vacuum from inside and it's not doing anything. I should be able to test this, I guess. Okay, so I just have the old piece here. And I put some vacuum in it, it won't really go up too much, so let me see what happens if I push the button. I'll push it on camera. So here we go, pushing it. Okay, it drops to zero. So, I don't think this repair did anything, but it's worth a shot. And it, to be fair, it wasn't. it's not doing this every time. So if I actually go and put more vacuum in here, it does... It is way harder to get the vacuum in this versus when I have it in the ignition unit. So um, that might be a sign too. I don't really know enough 
so you can see it slowly going. The other one I got it up to five, no problem. So there is some different behavior here. And then basically there's the little button. So as you go, you roll over and do the, turn the key, push it down, releases the vacuum. All right, well, I'm just gonna put the new piece in. Okay, it's a little hard to see, but I actually traced the lines. There's two vacuum lines. This is the, they're both brown. This one's brown with a blue stripe. I think I may have plugged these in the wrong last time because both connectors, uh, they're black and they have a blue stripe on them. And I thought that only this one did, but I guess not. Uh, the new part I put in has a blue dot on the one it needs to be on. And then here's the other one that goes to the brake booster. So yeah, maybe that's the problem. So anyways, I put blue tape on it so that I know that that one is the one that goes to the brown with the blue stripe. I plugged it into the one with the blue dot on it, which is really hard to see, but it's that one, trust me. Other one over here is the brake booster. All right, so I turned the car on. Okay, so I turned the car on and then off, and you can see here it's holding vacuum. There's the stop lever. There's that new piece I put, which the old one was fine too, but it does have rubber in it since it's a diaphragm. Doesn't hurt to replace it. It's just a pain in the ass without taking the intake off. But okay, so it's great. It's holding. I'm gonna turn the key to position two. Okay. Now that lever should be up. I turned the key to position two and it flew right up. Let me see if I can get that again. I'm gonna turn the car on. Okay, the stop lever go down. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop lever's down. I'm gonna go and just put it in position two. Stop lever go up? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so there we go, folks. I think it's fixed. And, uh, you know, was it the part? Was it that I just traced it back to the brown and blue? I don't know. The important thing is that the shutoff was working the whole time. So if they're reversed and the shutoff is not, won't fire in that configuration, then, you know, I had it right. So because it was definitely turning off, it was just not releasing. And so then the workaround... I would do in a parking lot or whatever is go up here and just pull the hose out of here to release the vacuum and then that stop lever goes right back up and then I plug it back in get back in the car and then get going and uh, now it's it's working how it should so I'll take it I don't care if it's I did it wrong last time when I did the ignition switch a couple months ago well a month ago it is, it only started happening after I did that. So my guess is it honestly, it probably is that, but I'm just going to start putting it all back together. Of course, pieces broke along the way. So I have to JB weld little tab back on. Uh, it's almost impossible to work on some of these older cars without the plastic bits breaking. But yeah, that's it for today. The camera's turned off a couple times. It's a, uh, it's a hundred, 111 outside right now. And I'm in the shade in my garage, but it's still hot enough that my camera gives a warning and says camera too hot. And then it just turns off the phone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, this is all I can get probably anyways. So I'm going to put it back together, get it inside and relax. So thanks for watching.